Are you stressed out? Stay tuned for more. Hello, this is Robert MacDonald. Please like, share, and subscribe, and you can find me on Twitter, Gab, and Telegram, as well as various alternative video platforms. All the links are in the description. Something I've been trying to focus on in my own life is dealing with minor stressors. You know, so many of us are very busy. We have very full schedules. We have lots of things occupying our time and eating up our capacity. And this is especially true if you're dealing with addiction, if you're dealing with any kind of mental health or trauma recovery, people that follow my work a lot, or some kind of difficulty in your life like divorce, uh, troubled marriage, family drama, debt, health problems, anything like that. It, it quickly eats up your time so that you don't have a lot of capacity and, and literal time in your schedule to get things done. And you're working hard and trying to stay focused on the big priorities, the important ones, you know, your own walk, your marriage, your family, children, sobriety, all these very important things you keep it as your top priorities. And that's important. And you do need to do that. But what can often happen is we get a little tunnel vision on these top priorities. And it's, it's not hard to do, especially when you're really pushing it, not getting enough sleep and just on the go constantly. And so it's very understandable. But what happens is little things start to accumulate. And they're just little stressors, little things that irritate you, bother you. As an individual thing, they're not that big a deal. You could get by just fine. But what happens is they start to accumulate because you're so focused on your major priorities. And as they accumulate, they are sapping your capacity to cope to get by, to function, to sleep, to relax. And they can cause you a lot of problems as a group. And so what I've kind of realized, you know, obviously we have to make time to do smaller things every so often, like, you know, dust the corners for cobwebs. But it's not just that, but it's things that are irritating. So, you know, for example, it could be a branch that brushes the top of your head when you go to your car where it's parked. You know, it could be something as simple as that that just bugs you and annoys you. It's not stopping you, but it's bugging you. And that diminishes your ability to do life. And so it's important to take a moment when you're not in a desperate hurry. Obviously, if you're rushing to the ER, you don't worry about things like that, but we're not rushing to the ER every day. So it is important to take a couple moments or a couple minutes to deal with something like that, like the branch, for example. If nothing else, just reach up and snap it off. But if you could take a couple of minutes, grab your shears and, and do a little trimming quick. And you'll feel better about it because not only did you get rid of the irritating thing, but if you did take the couple extra steps, you actually got something done, you know, and, and sometimes we, a lot of times we don't have time to do the whole project, you know, go through and trim all the hedges and trees and brush and everything, but you can knock out a little bit and you will feel better. Your life will go smoother and you'll have more capacity. This is something to especially remember when you are running at capacity, when you're really pushing it and you don't have a lot of time, you don't have the ability to make big changes and any progress you make in life is going to be through incremental step-by-step -step effort. This is part of that step-by-step -step effort, knocking little things out when you get an opportunity, like something that I've incorporated in my daily routine of getting ready for work, I wash the dishes in the one, one side of the sink so that one, I have space to get ready for work more efficiently. And then two, I'm helping us maintain cleaning the dishes and 
if I'm doing that regularly, we don't have trouble keeping up with dishes, regardless of anything else going on in our life. So incorporating things into your daily routine helps you. It's especially true if if some of these things are things that you struggle to keep up with for whatever reason. So making them into habits will help you have less little stressors. And some of that's going to take some planning ahead. Like one thing I have a bad habit of doing is I get the mail at the end of the day, but I'm dirty and in my work clothes. So I tend not to go and file whatever paperwork that comes in I need to save. So it has a tendency to sit on my desk and pile up. And so when you run into something like that, you can think about ways in which you can get around that problem. You know, maybe I need to make time later to file paperwork or hold on to that mail while I'm doing my routine after work and go over there when I'm not dirty. You know, there's there's ways to do it if we think about it. But in the moment, it's easy to, to not do that, set the mail down on the desk and let it accumulate. And like I said, it's you don't have to necessarily do the whole project or task. You know, if you notice the floor is getting dirty, it's bugging you, grab the broom or grab the vacuum and just go around real quick. Even if you don't get every little corner and nook of that particular room or area, you're still making it cleaner. You're making it more livable and less bothersome to you. And so not tolerating these little stressors and irritants will help you in the long term. And it'll also help you, it'll build confidence It'll help you be more assertive and aggressive and get at things because it's you're training yourself to not tolerate things being out of order. And this can be true with people as well. You know, we all know those people who are in our life in some way. And they're just takers. They're just always stressful they're always just spewing out drama or complaining they're not doing anything constructive in which case you know if it's for example if it's somebody online block them if it's someone in your life just stop associating them with them if you can and of course some of these people are going to be relatives or in some way you can't absolutely cut them out you know again if it's online mute them you're not blocking them or unfriending them they're still there if you need to communicate but you're not going to constantly get it thrown in your face and in some cases that might be you know if it's not online communicate communication if it's over your phone or in person you may just have to ignore them to some degree and hopefully they get the message or even finally confront them which is obviously hard but they are draining your emotional and mental capacity to deal with life they're taking away from things that matter and just mooching off your energy time and mental capacity and it's not worth it if they don't want to better themselves or contribute to your your family community or, or your own life there's no point to being with them. There's no point to associating with them. And like I said, obviously, sometimes these are people who are relatives or coworkers or something, and you can't completely get away from them. But you can put up and maintain healthy boundaries. And this can also be something that helps your health because we often put up with little minor pains or inconveniences and just let them slide. But if something is hurting you physically, that's a sign that something's wrong. It's going to cause you damage. And while obviously we have to put up stuff at, you know, until we can fix it or, or circumstances changes, it is wearing on you. You know, this is like one thing that I've made a 
priority in my life is to keep up uh, my footwear because ultimately having better footwear affects my entire body as far as how healthy and okay my body is going to be it affects it's not not just my feet but it's my legs my back it's everything my footwear is out of whack it's old and broke down it's going to cause my whole body to suffer and that's going to cause damage to my body that eventually will affect me long term but it's also going to undercut my work it's going to undercut my sleep etc so facing that your boots or shoes are broke down and getting them replaced sooner as soon as they start bothering you or as soon as you can see they're definitely past a certain point is worth it and you know it's easy to put up with stuff especially as guys and to some degree we have to do that but we also have to take care of ourselves we are also worth that and it's important to think about these things because you are trying to take care of those big priorities and if you let little or little or small things or lesser things interfere with that you're you are ultimately undercutting your ability to maintain those top priorities so you're not taking away from those top priorities you're actually increasing your ability to do better with those priorities this is something too that's very relevant on your recovery journey because there's often minor things that aren't outright temptations but they're enticing you know it could be a particular set of pop-up ads or advertisements or something that comes in the mail or whatever if you let them sit there they're going to wear on you and at some weak point it could be an initial trigger that sets you down a sequence of events and choices that leads to a relapse so it's important to do things like take the time to unsubscribe block etc things like that that come into your life and you know it could be a thing of uh taking a different route home from work because of some kind of advertisement or um some kind of business or event but it's worth it not to have the irritant digging at you and wearing you down over time and likewise as a the same concept that i was talking to your own health and to your recovery journey applies to life in general when you maintain this attitude of attacking stressors of these little going at these little irritants of okay i'm not in a super big rush i might be in a hurry i might have a tight schedule but i could take a couple moments or minutes to take care of this one task you're going to nip in the bud things that could get worse that could become bigger problems if you continue to let them slide and it's easy to do that like i said we're all very busy we're all caught up in the rat race it's just constant run 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 so by addressing these things we're ultimately shortcutting bigger problems you know it's like with your car if you notice something a little off and you start trying to figure it out or observing you're more likely to find that bubble on your tire before it just blows out on a trip down the highway and so you know it's there you can watch it closely and take care of it as soon as you have time to get to the tire shop rather than finding out when it just pops on you and so you are making a smaller problem of simply going to the tire shop and getting it taken care of much cheaper and easier than being stuck on the road and having to change a flat in the rain or call a tow truck and have all that extra money and time and effort into what could have been taken care of much cheap much more cheaply in less time it can also help your marriage in that if you take some moments to think what is bothering my wife the most whether you think about what she's told you or hinted at or just being 
aware of who she is and what bothers and stresses her and then act accordingly to knock out some of those things. In other words, what I've been describing for yourself and, and life in general also do for her. She will feel a lot better. She will have increased capacity and less stress. And that becomes a reciprocal positive feedback cycle. And then, you know, obviously it'd be great if she does the same, but, you know, you, the man, take the first steps and lead in this and it will improve your life. And obviously, oftentimes when these irritants pop up, we can't always deal with them in the moment. And that's understandable. Maybe you're on the road. Maybe you're at work. Maybe you're dealing with a screaming child. But this is an opportunity to take advantage of technology. You know, we all have these phones in our hands. Set yourself a reminder. Or, you know, if you are at work, just give yourself a note for later. And that will help you because you're still going to get it done. You're still going to diminish it. But it's it's so easy when you got the little skin flap or hangnail to try to nibble on it. You're not really fixing it. It's still there. Pick up the clippers and take care of it. That's really the bottom line of everything I'm saying here. The less of these little irritants that you have, the easier your life is going to be, the less stress you're going to have, and the more efficient and capable you're going to be in all areas of your life. And we can apply this to every aspect of our being, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, and physically. Because they all, they all, each area can have these little inner irritants and stressors. But the more we attack them, the better our life will be, and the better able we'll be able to focus and handle the big priorities. Carry on.